So guys, I finally found my fur coat. So let me back up a bit. I live in the frozen tundra that is upstate New York in the winter. And as a result, that means that every single outfit that I put together from basically, oh gosh, end of October through the end of March requires a coat. Which means that this year I decided that instead of having just one winter coat that I wear every single day, um, that I would get a whole bunch of secondhand coats and make it a part of my fashion statement as opposed to just a thing that I have to put on. So at the onset of winter, I decided that I really wanted a real fur coat. Now, there is no chance that I was gonna buy one new, both because I don't really like the thought of skinning animals and two, they're expensive and that just wasn't gonna happen. And so I set out to try and find an awesome fur coat, um, which <laughs> I quickly realized was actually kind of a feat um, because a lot of fur coats are either really old and damaged um, so like missing hair or the leather itself getting really brittle um, or they smelled bad and made me itch or they were just simply far out of my budget but yesterday Zach and I went to an estate sale and then on our way home we were in an area of town that we aren't we don't usually find ourselves and there was a Goodwill and I was like hey I've never been to this Goodwill before do you mind if we stop so we stopped, it was a pretty small Goodwill. There wasn't a ton there, but on my way out, I saw that there was a rack of coats and on it was this amazing black fur coat. And it actually looks relatively new. It was clean and I'm so excited. Um, it was at the perfect price point and it's just what I want it to be, except it's a little bit too long. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be hamming my fur coat. Now, if you go on the internet and type in DIY uh, fur coat hemming or how to hem a fur coat, um, literally everybody tells you not to. Um, <laughs> with the exception of two very helpful women on forums from like 1999, shout out to whoever you are. Um, in any case, this is not advised. Everybody says to go to a furrier, but me, there's no chance that I'm gonna spend multiple hundreds of dollars for somebody to hem a coat especially a coat that I got for under $30. So anyway, today we are going to try our hand at hemming a fur coat and hopefully this will help out a couple of other people like me who want a fur coat but are not willing to spend oodles and gobs of money. So this is what we're working with. It's really not bad as is and I actually kind of like it. Um, but I feel like because it's so long and it goes down to nearly my ankles, I just won't wear it as often at this length as I would if it was a little bit shorter. So I feel like that would make it a little bit more casual um, and better for day to day. Overall, it's in really awesome shape. I don't know if you can see from over there, but there is one spot. Let's see, where is it at? Um, yeah, right here that has kind of uh, separated itself. So I'm going to need to mend that. Um, but otherwise it's in really awesome shape. So my plan is to take an existing jacket that I have that I really like the length of and use that as kind of a template to figure out how long I want this to be. Obviously I'll build in seam allowance and all of that. Um, so let's take a crack at this. As a first step in this project, what I'm going to do is remove the liner from the fur itself. Um, so in the limited information that I was able to find on the internet, about hemming fur coats, it says that you want to make sure to cut from the back of the leather instead of from the fur itself, um, using an X-Acto knife or some other knife to score it as opposed to cutting it. Um, the reason being is that apparently if you cut the fur, then there will be kind of a weird cut line on the fur, whereas if you score it, supposedly it looks better. Um, now, I've never worked with fur before, so I don't know if this is true or not. We're going to go with it. Um, and see what happens. At this point, I've picked out all of the bottom seam. Um, so, great thing that I noticed is that there are basically tiers 
of rabbit fur on this. Just to give you a better sense of what I'm talking about, um, this is the inside of the jacket uh, with the liner section removed. Um, so as you can see, this is the bottom portion and this is the top portion. So this bottom portion is basically exactly what I would have wanted to cut off um, to give myself enough seam allowance and then turn it under um, and make it the length of this jacket that's set on top of the fur jacket. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick out the seam here all the way along and then that should give me a nice straight even um, cut point um, and I shouldn't even have to do any slicing. At this point I am part way through doing my seam ripping but I wanted to pause to tell you to be incredibly careful if you're doing any sort of seam ripping. Um, with this really soft leather, it rips so easily. Um, so don't do what I did, don't tug at all. You can see that there's a small tear here. Fortunately, this is on the side um, that is not going to be a part of the coat, so it doesn't matter. Um, but be especially careful at any sort of seams that you need to stay together um, because it rips pretty easily. So be very gentle with your seam ripple, ripper, be very gentle with how you tug because apparently real fur is delicate. All right, more seam ripping. While I have the liner pulled out, I'm going to go ahead and fix um, the little hole here that I have. I don't know if you can see my fingers poking through. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that so that I can fix it from the inside so that we don't have any um, evidence of it ever having happened on the outside of the coat. So, Basically, I'm just going to find my seam and fold it open as best I can, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of hand sewing to tack it back in. Yeah, here's the, here's the tear from the inside. So, let me get my needle and thread and we'll have a go at this. I've honestly never sewn on uh, real fur before, so I'm not sure how easy or difficult this will be. Um, clearly, it's possible to sew them. Fortunately, I'm starting off with a spot that was a seam to begin with. I'm gonna back up just a little bit. Well, actually that's really smooth and easy to go through. Cool. It's weird how little information there actually is about working with fur. Um, it seems like everything that I was able to find about cleaning your fur, caring for your fur, or um, altering fur was all go to a furrier, go to a furrier, um, which, <laughs> I don't know, it's great um, if you can afford it, and I'm sure that that is definitely the preferred way of going about it, um, but it seems like it's a little bit limiting. Um, yeah, I don't know, I uh, feel like there should be more information out there, so hopefully you guys find this helpful, um, or at least entertaining. I've got that hole all patched, so let's see what it looks like on the other side. Perfect. Can't even tell that it was a thing. So cool. Um, now, next up what I'm going to do is at this point, the liner is significantly longer than the coat itself. So I'm going to need to chop that off um, so that I can hem it up. So what I'm going to do is open up the jacket um, because we need to turn under the fur and the liner should um, kind of meet at the top of the fur. We're actually going to cut it about an inch or so um, higher up than the end of the fur itself so that it can accommodate that seam allowance. After a lot of back and forth and kind of trying to figure out what I'm doing, um, I decided that I'm going to hem it with the fur going up over the liner. I think that that's ultimately going to be easiest. Um, now, I know that you might be thinking, well, hey, wait a second, what if this fur sheds all over the place because there's an exposed edge? I did think of that. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to fold it over and I'm actually going to fold it under just a little bit again, um, just to kind of bind that edge um, to the liner so that it doesn't end up shedding a whole bunch. Um, so what I'm doing now is I have measured that I want a two inch hem on it. So I'm just folding it over two inches. So the reason why I'm doing it this way instead of just measuring up like a normal person would is that um, the fur is actually pretty difficult to measure um, simply because it's fur and it's not 
yeah, it doesn't lay quite like a clean line like regular fabric would. So um, I'm measuring from the underside here so that I can have a nice clean two inch measurement. So I'm just tacking it down with pins right now. And then as I hand stitch it under, I will turn under that edge so that it's a nice clean finished edge. At this point, I've gotten the first little section of this sewn down. Um, I wanted to do it off camera just to kind of figure out what I'm doing. Um, after a little bit of trial and error, I realized that just doing a simple running stitch um, is kind of the easiest way to go about this. I had tried doing a whip stitch um, and it just was kind of not working as well. Um, so simple running stitch it is, um, making sure to tuck the fur under um, as I go along. Now that I have the hem all in place, my last step is to bind the edges of it so that there isn't a little hole here, um, so that it sits nice and flat and smooth. And just like that, the coat is all finished. So now it's time to try it on. And this is the finished look. I am so happy with how this coat turned out. I have been looking for something just like this for so long. It's really exciting to finally have it. I think that it's gonna be a go-to for me this winter. So if you have a fur coat in your closet, or you're at a thrift shop and you find a fur coat, um, but it doesn't quite fit the way that you want it to, you can absolutely do this at home. Well, that's all for today, friends. I wanna thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you wanna see more cool content from me, be sure to subscribe. I have loads more on the way.